What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. In fact, two poorly reviewed beers. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, Friday the 17th. And so I have two more beers from Legendary Guinness to check out. Uh, one of their newer offerings, along with a uh, classic variation on their stout. So let's get to it. And leading off our pair of Guinness beers is their Nitro IPA. Uh, one of the nice things about Guinness is their website is quite comprehensive when it comes to their beers. Uh, so I have some excerpts from their notes on this Nitro IPA. It's everything you'd want from an English style IPA balanced with everything you'd expect from Guinness. Using our peerless expertise in nitrogenation, we've reimagined the IPA. Perfectly balanced flavor and aroma and possibly creamy texture and a long lasting head of dense bubbles. A complex mix of five hop varieties yields a strong body with citrus flavors and pine notes. Berry sweetness arrives, bitter li bitterness lingers. It's 5.8% ABV and uh, they mentioned five hop varieties used throughout the brewing process. They are Admiral, Celia, Topaz, Challenger, and Cascade. All right, so uh, I guess I didn't pour it too, too terribly. Getting a little bit of kind of what I call the cascading uh, bubbles from the nitrogenation. Uh, so I can't really tell. I got a little bit of a color at the bottom, but I need to give it a minute to, to settle up before I can really make any kind of determinations about the beer. Um, other than, of course, uh, as nitrogenated as uh, we've mentioned uh, super, super fine bubbles in this, uh, thin head on top here. Uh, it almost kind of, almost, except for a few larger bubbles, and by larger, I just mean I can actually, uh, discern them from the rest of it, but it looks like almost a, a, a smooth, um, uninter uninterrupted surface of head. Um, it's that difficult to be able to, uh, discern the tiny, tiny individual bubbles, um, like you would on the heads of other beers. All right, we're pretty close to done here. Uh, nice deep golden color, kind of a, an iced tea color. Brewed, brewed iced tea color, sun tea. And uh, the head's still settling, so I'm not getting a whole, whole lot of difference as I hold up to the light. Just kind of a, a little bit of a lighter orange hue. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see what we got here. The, uh, the flavors from the nitrogenation make for a very unique crossing with some of the, the pale ale elements. So there's a very, very light amount of bitterness to it. To me, it, it tastes much more of the English style ale than it does uh, pale ale. There's a little bit of a bitterness to it. I'm getting a little more actually uh, in the aftertaste, but it's not very strong. It's all in the back of my throat, frankly. And um, it is quite tasty. But it's much more tasty in that English... English bitters, traditional English ale kind of way, and far, far less in the uh, in the IPA style category. At least, uh, at least in my view. A small amount of sweetness in the beginning. And uh, it gives way to maybe a little bit of a, a piney note. 
But again, I find all those IPA notes relatively muted. Maybe getting just a hair of citrus and uh, I'm getting some pine now. And again, the pine's coming, kind of coming through more in the aftertaste. Um, but not much in terms of the uh, the the IPA qualities of this beer. So uh, if it's what you're if it's what you seek out, um, know you're getting uh, something in more of the the traditional English ale style um, than you are, and that's driven by the nit- nitrogenation. Uh, you're gonna be getting less of the the IPA side. It's it's present, but it's it's relatively uh, not relative. I would say quite mild overall. Uh, but that's good though, but let's uh, move on from the Nitro IPA to the Extra Stout. All right, here it is, the Guinness Extra Stout. And notes from Guinness. As deep as Guinness Extra, as deep as Guinness Extra Stout's color is its taste. Crisp barley cuts through hops. A bite draws you in, bold flavors linger. Bitter marries sweet, a rich, refreshing taste. Brewed with skill, built to last. Sharp and crisp to the taste, it's an entirely different experience from the smooth, creamy Guinness draft and punchier, extra far, foreign, extra stout. But the trademark Guinness flavors preside. Sorry about that. 5.6% ABV. Okay. Uh, very, very dark, of course. I can see just a little bit of a, a brown highlight around the edge. And that gets accentuated a little bit uh, when I hold it up to the light, but it is generally a very, very dark brown. Very close to black, as expected. Just a little bit of head on it, as you can see. I can't really see anything uh, through the beer in terms of uh, carbonation or anything. I got a hit of uh, something on the aroma as I was pouring it, so I held up to my nose for a moment. Nah, I lost it. My nose isn't that great, but I just couldn't couldn't get it back. All right, let's uh, see if we can find it in the in the taste. Well, obviously, uh, I'm dealing with a very, very different mouthfeel uh, from the carbonated nitro IPA. This is incredibly uh, traditionally carbonated. Lots of fizziness, lots of uh, lots of effervescence, lots of bubbles in my mouth as I'm drinking it. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of a sweetness to it. I can't quite place the sweetness, unfortunately. A uh, little bit of roastiness to it as well. Again, a lot of traditional English style kind of flavors. There's something else in there though that I just can't quite pin down. Maybe just a little bit of a, a cola type of flavor, I think, maybe. But something kind of blending with that sweetness. Just a a, a bit of a chocolate note, too. I think it's kind of like a... Not so much a cola, but I'm reminded of like a... With the, the amount of carbonation, the the, the Italian soda style drinks, uh, you'll see that some uh, coffee shops offer as non-coffee options, um, where it's typically like a like a seltzer water, or just they, they take like standard water and, and do like the, the carbonation bit to it, and do usually some kind of a Italian syrup. There's the various flavors, and this is kind of almost like a <clears throat> like a, a uh, unsweetened chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate would probably be better. Semi-sweet dark chocolate, uh, Italian soda kind of a deal. Uh, 
Um, I mean, I'm enjoying it, but unfortunately, it's uh, it's eluding me a little bit right now. Uh, if I get a little more, and I maybe I have a a uh, a desire to talk about it, I'll do kind of a supplementary thing, uh, supplement supplementary entry to this video uh, a little later. Um, but so that is the extra stout along with the nitro IPA from Guinness. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. You can also find PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those links and usernames in the description below. And if you're so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.